Hey, how you doing? Steve here from Post Processing Mastery. Now the video that I've got coming up for you is a really quick tutorial showing you how you can blend multiple exposures in Photoshop using a really simple technique that I call the fake grad filter technique. Now what this does, it allows you to take a couple of bracketed images that are at different exposures and then literally with just a few clicks so you can blend these multiple exposures and get a really realistic effect and it's basically the same thing that you would get if you had a grad filter on your camera in front of the lens when you took the shot. So I'll just get started and jump straight into the demo. Now what I've got on the screen at the moment is I've got a Photoshop document open with two layers. The top layer is the exposure that I took of this scene which was kind of underexposed for most of the shot but it was dark enough that it managed to capture most of the detail in these really bright highlights over here. And if I just hide that you can see the layer underneath which is an exposure which has been taken to capture all of the detail in this uh, what was really the darkest area of the shot. So what I need to do to just blend these together really quickly is with the top layer selected I'll add a layer mask and I'll do that just with the icon here and then just making sure to click on that layer mask there to activate it I'm going to grab a gradient tool just a straightforward black to white linear gradient and from sort of somewhere around the top quarter of the image I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard and drag with the mouse to draw a line and therefore create the gradient so I'll draw that to about there okay so depending on whether you've got the darker shot or the brighter shot on top you know you'll need to either do a black to white gradient or white to black so I'm just going to undo that switch the foreground and background colors and do the same again and that's better so what you can see here the uh, the layer mask has basically allowed us to keep the darker half of the image from this top layer and if I hide that you'll just see that it's the exact same image underneath you know this bottom layer is showing through for the bottom half now that's now that's really cool and uh, you know if you can be 100% accurate with that gradient in the first instance then that's really good but this is where this uh, fake grad filter technique comes into its own and why I actually call it the fake grad filter technique because what you can do is actually move this gradient up and down after the fact and it essentially behaves like a grad filter would do if you were you know, making those same movements with the filter in front of the lens so just to get a better view I'm going to zoom out one click and then what I need to do here is you see the, the link icon between the layer itself and the layer mask I'm just going to click that to make it disappear and what that allows me to do is just with the move tool I can click into that layer mask and just move the mask or the you know the gradient that's painted into that mask I can move it up and down and as I do that you can see what's happening really you know it's it's literally behaving like a grad filter would do so you know what I'll just uh, do here is maybe you know that probably looks best around there and what you will notice is that you know as I move this up and down like there's a big dark patch which is basically uh, the part of the layer mask which was outside of the frame as I drew the gradient into it so I just need to fill that in with a uh, with a black paint bucket so I just do that now and uh, yeah that's that's fixed up so yeah we can just go back to moving this up and down as we were before and really that's it you know it's a really simple cool technique to use for really quickly blending two multiple exposures together like I said before you know it's it's practically the exact same thing as what you would get if you had a grad filter on your lens so you know this is uh, one of those things where I don't think there can be any problem with people worrying that you're doing too much Photoshop editing and saying oh it's not real so <laughs> ignore those guys anyway so if you like this video and you want to see more videos just like it then you can click on the link that's about to appear on the screen just about now and you can go there check it out I've got some uh, full video walkthroughs that teach you a workflow that you can use to really get a lot more consistency to your landscapes or seascapes or whatever your style of photography is 
Now, consistency is something that I used to struggle with a lot until I really sort of figured out how to produce the same type of results every time in Photoshop, you know, and that's, that's basically down to the workflow that I developed for myself. And yeah, like I said, I'm sharing that with you on the link on the screen now. So if you want to go and take a look at that, just click the button or the link. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.